Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the downloader application to your Fire Stick as well as how to correctly set it up. In fact, you can use downloader to get other apps to your Fire Sticks which are not available in the official Amazon App Store by default. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get downloader to your device. First of all, you have to go to search on your Fire Stick, so click on that button with the magnifying glass, then click on the search bar. And here in the search, you need to start typing downloader. And then, as you can see, downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom, so there was even no need to enter the whole name of the app. So we click on downloader, and that's the app which we need to get to your device. So we click on it, and then press on the install button. And now, in a couple of moments, the download of the downloader is going to start. Usually it doesn't take long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. Now the app was downloaded, but still we have to set it up. So in order to set up the loader, we'll need to go to the settings. Here they are, so we click on that button with the gear icon, scroll down and go to My Far TV. Open it. Here we'll have to enable developer options on your device, but on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Sticks, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, no need to worry, it's really easy to make them appear. We just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you'll have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times. And do it fast, so let's do it. As you can see, now at the bottom for me it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case, and in your case it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared right here. So we click on them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps, and here you have to locate the loader. There it is, so turn that option on. What it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps, which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And now, that's exactly what we're going to do. So let's go to the list of apps on your device, there it is, open it. And here at the bottom you'll find the loader, which we just loaded. Now I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote, that's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on Move to Front. This way, the loader is always going to be at the very top of your application list and therefore it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time needed. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, we got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive. For such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say we connect to Canada right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means no one can track you or snoop on you online, and that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get three months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code which you can see on your screen right now with a camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to give you the same deal for NordVPN. And now finally let's use the loader safely. So you gotta go to the list of apps on your device, open up the loader, click OK here, and basically there in that search bar you are able to type any link or any code to access uh, other applications from the internet. So let's say you would be looking to download Aptoy TV from the internet, in that case you would just open the search bar, type Aptoy TV, 
click on go then we'll have to wait until the website opens for us by the way while it's loading make sure to subscribe my channel so you would get even more content about fire sticks then we open the website off of toy tv after accepting that so we open the website yep there it is so click on it now the website is going to open so there we just click on download and yeah i'm doing that for Aptoy tv but you can do it uh, for any other application that you want the process is pretty much the same you just open the website of any application that you want to download and click on the download button and from that moment on you'll be able to download pretty much any app to your fire stick and then you click on install wait until the app gets installed after that don't click on open yet Instead, press on done because this way I will be able to delete the installation file as we don't need it anymore. So click on delete, then delete once again. After that, let's go to the list of apps on your device. Scroll down to the bottom and here you'll find Aptoy TV, which we just downloaded to your Fire Stick. So pretty much that's the easy way how you can get a loader, set it up and use it on your Fire Stick to download other applications from the internet. Enjoy and see you next time. Bye bye.